The road to a permanent home has its lumps and bumps. No, what's what is that really tiny little lump there? I think I'm going for a ride. <laughs> but with the tug in the right direction, we can often send them on their way. Go and get it. Go on, it's over there. No, I haven't got it. It's here. Yeah. This week, there's a pup at the mountain to climb. There is about a one in 20 chance that she will die at the time of the surgery. What are you telling me? Now nah, you'll be all right. Don't worry about it. A pair going nowhere anytime soon. Jeff, yeah, if you go any further back, you're going to be through the wall. And one who's just gone too far. Ow, ow, your paws in a very sensitive place. <laughs> My right floor, that first floor. I'm looking for a puppy called Daisy. I mean, she's not going to be wandering around here, is she? But I think she's down here with Sean. So if you'd like to follow me, hiya, Sean. Oh. <laughs> My God, is this Daisy? Yeah, this little ball of fluff is Daisy. Daisy? Come here, let's have a look at you. This four-month-old Shih Tzu Daisy was brought into Battersea after her health deteriorated and her owners could no longer look after her. Many years have passed since those summer days. She's skinny, isn't she? She is. You put her in a bath, you'd yeah, see, that's... like a squirrel. Oh. So when she first came in, did you realise as soon as you looked at her there's something seriously wrong with this dog? Yeah. Firstly, she was very undersized when she came in. But secondly, a couple of hours after she had her meal, she was really disorientated. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's a little video clip of it here. Look Can you see her. where she's just yeah, sliding she up to the wall? She's, and, doing, um, does she? she's shivering as well, isn't she? Yeah. She's really out of oh, sorts. Oh, look. Oh, and what's her problem? We're pretty sure it's something she would have been born with. We think she has a liver shunt. And normally, after you've had a meal, the blood from your intestines goes through the liver which processes all the nutrients and gets rid of any toxins. But in her case, there's a little blood vessel that just bypasses the liver completely, and that means the liver isn't doing any of its job. Although Battersea have Daisy's condition under control for now... Oh, baby. ..without surgery to correct her liver shunt, she'll die. But to have the operation, Daisy must be six months old to stand any chance of making it. Is it a big operation you'll have to do, then? We need to refer her for this one, because it needs quite sophisticated imaging to be able to identify that vessel. I'm going to ask an awkward question. What's the chances of survival with such a big operation in a pup this age? There is about a 1 in 20 chance that she will die at the time of the surgery. Oh, God. But the alternative wouldn't be good at all. She yeah. wouldn't make old bones at all. No, she wouldn't. We didn't do something. God. So... Hey, you, miss. You've got a lot of trouble, have you? Hey, get your nice operation. Do you fancy that? Let me get you to home. For the next two months, Daisy needs medication three times a day to help her absorb nutrients from food and get rid of the toxins. Poor little thing. And the staff will also help her put on weight to build up enough strength for surgery. What are you telling me? No, you'll be all right. Don't worry about it. I know. <laughs> She's too much, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, Bobs. Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. Sad, isn't it, when you look at her? You know, she's such a little cute thing. Well, the good thing is we've managed to make it comfortable, so we're just keeping our fingers crossed. Get me away from this one before I get too fond. I miss, I'll see you later. See ya. Cheerio, Paul. ta -ra, Sean. See you, little one. No, don't come with me. Fingers crossed, eh, that, you know, she has the op and it all works out for her, because she is. Oh, she's a business. Now, Daisy is only one of around 120 dogs waiting to be rehomed. And if you throw in a load of cats, it's not exactly... Shut up! And our next dog loves a bit of noise. But not as much as she loves people. I got a whole lot to love it. Baby, just wait for you. Maybe if you bring out a size for you. Lizzie was brought into Battersea after she intimidated her owner's smaller dog. Um, I think I can see how that happened. Let me in. Let me have a look at you. Ain't you lovely? I mean, really, look at her. I'm going to use a word, really. I just covered her ears. Mutt. Mm -mm. Come here. 
The problem with dogs who don't realise how big they are... Don't stick your bum at me face, Lizzie, please. ...is they can be, well, you know, a bit much. Ow, ow, your paws are in a very sensitive place. The tail's full on. You get that in your gob, you know about it. Maybe she'll calm down when she's out and about. Here we go. Spoke too soon. Lizzie. Before big, strong dogs like Lizzie can be rehomed, it's important they know how to behave. <laughs> Take your lead off. Hey, Lizzie! Oh, she's on one now. Oh, come here. Oh, where's she go? Where's she go? Where's she go? Where's she go? Hiya, Paul. Luckily, behaviourist Lucy is going to show me how to tame our Liz. How's she been? She does get a little bit jumpy. <laughs> Well, you know, if you've got a baby in your arms... Definitely, or, yeah, it's a big safety it thing. It is, or you were elderly. She came at you 90 mile an hour. Yeah, definitely. Next thing you know, you're an A&E &E with a broken hip. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you avoid hospitalisation by hound? Did you see that? So she's jumping up to get my attention. So what's the trick, then? Instead of jumping up, we can just ask her to sit. And yeah. then when she sits, we can she'll, reward she'll her. twig. That jumping up's mm -hmm. going to get her nowhere. Here she is. Sit. Hey, oh, ah, well done. Yeah. Hey! Shall I stand up and see if she jumps all over me? Liz! Where's my girl? Now, now sit. Oh, she vanished. And then ask her to sit, well, and then sis. we can give her that treat. Sit down, sit. Good girl. Give me a paw. Thank you. I believe it. Rewarding a dog with treats creates a positive connection with commands. Good girl. Making training much easier. She's picked that up really quick with you. Hasn't she? Lizzie, you're a marvel. She's allowed to play, but she needs to just understand her size a little bit. I'm mad jealous whoever's going to get her. <laughs> well, the jumping's getting better, but that's just one of Lizzie's issues. She can be a little bit oh, I've, skittish I've, I've, on the lead. Yeah, Have I've, you she, had that before? She dragged me down. She's going to need some help with that. That's it. Get your ear up. There's a good girl. There you Thank go. You. Get them ears up to the camera. Looks like I'll be back for some lessons in lead etiquette. Lizzie! Lizzie! God help us. <laughs> While Lizzie's full of the joys of spring, the same can't be said for two new arrivals. A pair of chihuahuas, Marley... ..and Maisie. Unsurprisingly, they're not thrilled to be here having lived in the same home for their whole lives. Chihuahuas are usually boisterous and outgoing, but I don't think these two got the memo. I can hear the sound of tiny feet. And I mean tiny. Here they come. Handler Marina has been looking after them. Hello, little limbs. Come on in. That's it. Oh, they are scared, aren't they? They're very worried. I'll tell you what, I'll get on the floor. <laughs> and I might be less scary then. Oh, come and see what I've got. They're very, very nervy. This one's terrified. Yeah, he's the more scared one. Hey, little man. Molly. Come on. I've never seen such timid chihuahuas. Oh, look at him. What is this? They're usually anyone's mate with a bit of bribery. No oh, good looking at it. You have to come over. Come on. <laughs> I feel like the witch in Snow White here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, take a bite and make a wish. It's a magic wishing sausage. <laughs> Come on. What's this? Come and see. Hey, little man. Maybe he likes the cheese more. Does he? They think, why are we here? Who are all these strange people? They've been in a home for how many years? And then all of a sudden they're thinking, you know, where am I? Perhaps a little alone time will help them warm up. You stuck with me now. Come on, I won't eat ya. He's terrified, look. Sometimes eye contact can be intimidating for a nervous dog. Hey, little fella. So I'll try sticking me bum above his head. That usually works. I've got some sausage. Here you go. Try those two. See how you get on. Jeff, if you go any further back, you're going to be through the wall. She's gaining confidence, but That's this good. this little fella underneath is terrified, isn't he? Yes. It just takes a lot of patience. That's it, patience. Hey, little man. So come and see it again. Well, I think that's a first. Oh, I'll see you later. Meeting chihuahuas who won't even bark at me. Not even a bye-bye. 
Oh, well, I think I'll need to try again. What is it you're after, eh? Daisy's been on her medication for a week now. Oh, me yes, I mean. I've got you. Yeah. Uh, you're a bit little street legging it round like that. And she's definitely perked up. Oh, Daisy, Daisy. Give us your little gob do. I'm half crazy. I've got some medicine for you. Here's a good girl. Yes, a good girly. Yes, you are. Daisy's also been picking up manners from her new best friend, Bertie. Oh, Bertie, where's that boy? Oh, he's such a lovely boy. <laughs> Don't you start, <laughs> hey, Missy? Well, our little Shih Tzu chuts put his back. Look at her biting his legs. Do you know, I thought you were like a sweet, gentle little thing. Got that wrong, didn't I, hey? <laughs> But there's only so long we can keep Daisy on the medication. She still needs that specialist surgery to correct her liver shunt. Hi, Rachel. Hello, Paul. Until then, she's on foster with head vet nurse Rachel. Hey, Daisy. How's my little girl, eh? She's feeling a bit quiet today, a bit Is poorly. She? Oh, aren't you well? Aren't you well? Oh, dear me. Is she due for a big operation yet? She is. I'm very worried. She's going on Tuesday and her actual surgery is on Wednesday. And it's a big op as well, isn't it? Big surgery, yeah. yeah. Is it risky? There is a risk and I hope that we've done enough in preparation. The point of medical management is that you try and get them as strong as possible yeah. so that they can at least yeah. survive the anaesthetic. But she does a lot of exercise with us. So hopefully she has a nice healthy heart yeah. on her that will keep her nice and stable under her anaesthetic. Um, obviously it's a major organ. But if she survives the surgery, then her prognosis and chances oh, of God. survival are, are pretty good. You'll be OK. Yeah, you're having a big op, but you're tough, aren't you? Hopefully, if Daisy gets through the op, she can finally be rehomed. How are you going to feel after three months? When she goes up for rehoming? Yeah. I have fallen in love, but I said from the very beginning it's a foster. Let's hope it all goes well for her. I'll worry yeah. now on Wednesday. Yeah, you <laughs> can join me. I'm sure it'll go well. She's in Grace hands. I don't think there's anything else we could do. Fingers crossed. It's the day of Daisy's life-saving liver operation. At the small animal referral hospital in Bristol. In charge of today's delicate operation is vet surgeon Ed Friend. Daisy was born with a problem with her liver, and instead of blood going through the liver, it goes around the liver. And so the aim of the operation is to try and divert the blood back into the liver again. There are certainly risks involved with it, and therefore we need a, a large team of specialists here to help get her safely through the surgery. Now, if you're a bit squeamish, you might want to look away, but you're going to miss a marvel of medicine. Here's the liver up here, which is smaller than normal. And this is where the blood is escaping, so what we've got to try and do now is close this down. To close off the shunting vessel and redirect blood flow back into the liver, Ed is fitting something called an amyloid constrictor. It's a bit like a donut, um, and it swells with the tissue fluid very slowly over time, and therefore it will slowly close down the shunt vessel, giving the liver a chance to develop its blood supply again. There we go, that's it. Ed now needs to make sure that the constrictor is in exactly the right spot. The intestine is a nice pink colour and the pancreas is a nice white creamy colour and therefore it's sitting how we would want. After a 90 minute operation, Daisy's long road to recovery begins. But back at Battersea, Maisie and Marley's progress Hello. is at a much more sedate pace. We're getting there, slowly. Yeah. Handler Becky and myself have been patiently trying to socialise them. Here we go. Look at this lovely office for you. Hey, now, are you okay? No, it's sort of have a runaround time. Oh, look at that. Now, where's she gone, the other one, Maisie? 
She's opted it. Now, Maisie's starting to look more confident and relaxed by exploring. They're getting there, yeah, aren't they, from when they first came in, when yeah. they were absolutely terrified. Here he is. Where's that boy? Getting very brave, aren't you, eh? You're such a good boy, aren't you, eh? I don't think we'll be going to the boxing together just yet. Go on, then. Don't have a mooch around. I always get that in your knee. Oh. <laughs> but seeing them warm up to human company... He's cute, isn't he? Isn't he? Hey, There's one little paw in the right direction. Nice to see you come out your shell. Not fully out the shell, but almost out. You see I'm nobody a week after her up, Daisy is back with foster mum Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Paul. <laughs> oh, Daisy, I know, where's look my at girl? Her. Look how well she's doing. Isn't she just? I know. So she's had her surgery. Um, and was it successful? Yeah. Um, and they've been really happy with her recovery. She's a tough little dog, isn't she? She is. She really is. Yeah. Um, Aren't you, Babs? Eh? And they've told told us that we have to keep her calm for the next four <laughs> weeks. <laughs> and <laughs> best of luck there with her. Uh, I can't keep her calm. No, She's crazy. <laughs> so when's she ready for a, a home? It's going to be quite a few months. Um, oh, really? Yeah. So I think um, you'll keep her. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you I'm, were going to keep see, her. I see. I'm doing it. I'm doing what everybody in this place does with me. I don't. Well, I have to admit, I did really miss her. No, well, good luck to yeah. her. Yeah. I know. You're a lucky lady. Yeah, she is, isn't she? So glad she came here. Yeah. You know, because if she hadn't, she wouldn't be here now, would she? No, no. no. And hopefully this will give her a long, long life ahead long, of her. Long, healthy, terrorising <laughs> somebody. <laughs> Daisy, you look after yourself. Oh, God, you're gorgeous. Hopefully in a few months, Daisy will be well enough to run a new family racket. And speaking of which... Behaviourist Lucy has had her hands full with Lizzie. Lizzie! You sit. Yeah, good girl! She's definitely making progress with the jumping. <laughs> She's eager to go. Tell me she is. But what about behaving herself on a lead? Where is a girl? It's important that we build the focus up with our dogs on walks, because when they are all over the place, at roadsides and stuff, it can be quite dangerous. So let's give it a go. And when she walks with you, you can just sort of take one little step and then give her a little bit of a fuss to reward her. And then we can take two steps and then give her a little reward. Come on, Lizzie. Good girl. Aren't you a good girl, eh? Yes, Perfect. you are. Come on, a bit that's further. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. She's such a good girl, aren't you, my Liz? Yes, you are. You're a good girl. And her tail's no. going crazy, so <laughs> she's really enjoying that. Lovely. Oh, she's a good girl. Much Come on. Much better focus as well. This is brilliant, Paul. You are a cracker, aren't you? And all because you were giving her that fuss from warding her when she's on the floor. She's picked it up. She's great, this one. <laughs> Isn't she? Over the next week, Lucy continues to reinforce Lizzie's training. Lizzie! <laughs> From the day that she came in to now, it's almost like a different dog. So much so that after just three weeks, she's ready to be rehomed. You make me dizzy, Miss Lizzie. Hey. And for Simon and Sam from Surrey, it was love at first sight. Girl, I said I wish you were mine. Oh, come on now, who could resist that? Sit. Girl. Good girl. This has settled in really, really well. Right from day one, really, hasn't she? Yeah, it's been amazing. She's changed our lives in... Every way. <laughs> I was going to say, every way. I mean, just look at her. The moment we looked into those eyes and that little ear popped up. She's been absolutely besotted with her 24-7. <laughs> oh, am I getting some kisses? Elizabeth, I thought we taught you not to do that. No sooner than Lizzie's bounded out of the door, there's been the pitter-patter of tiny feet in Northamptonshire. 
as Maisie and Marley settle in with Dave and Carol Christmas. Marley and Maisie were a bit nervous the first couple of days, but they've been brilliant since. Come up and see me. really know what happened before but they obviously love being cuddled and touched they are they're lovely <laughs> can't stop saying that oh i'm delighted for you two that just leaves daisy well, she's only gone and bagged herself a Spice Girl. I'm really excited to meet Daisy because I think every time you get a new dog in your life, it's like a new chapter and they become part of the family. I've had such a great relationship with Battersea Dogs Home. They gave me my first dog and that was Harry. He was a Shih Tzu. Good job. Here she comes. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, it's OK. Hello, darling. Hey! Hi! Oh, I know, you're gorgeous. You're kind of naughty, but you're naughty and I see gingerbread, gingerbread. Sit, sit and sit. Good girl. So, Barbara Woodhouse. <laughs> she did have, you know, medical problems that some people would feel, you know, a little bit anxious about taking on a dog with that. I just thought, I think we've got enough love in our heart to, you know, welcome and look after her. Gingerbread, gingerbread, gingerbread. You're full of sugar. Well, no matter what is going on in your day, you see a beautiful spirit in a furry coat and it makes everything all right. Jerry, I couldn't agree with you more. 